my name is Britt and today I'm going to make super easy delicious peanut butter cookies. For this recipe we only need four ingredients. A cup of creamy peanut butter, a cup of white granulated sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and an egg. You may be thinking to yourself, how could these cookies be good if there's only four ingredients? Well, trust me, it is. <laughs> it's a really delicious recipe, even though there's only four ingredients. And it's gluten-free, y'all. You can use a hand mixer, or you can just mix it by hand, <laughs> which is what I'm gonna do. So you just put all four ingredients in a mixing bowl. My daughters are going to be very excited that I'm making this because they ate these in about two seconds. <laughs> so we have one cup of peanut butter. Now we're going to put in one cup of granulated sugar. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and eye a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Good. And if I add a little extra, that's okay. And one egg. So we have all four ingredients now in our bowl and we're just gonna mix away. <laughs> and we wanna mix until it becomes kind of crumbly. no flour in this recipe they are so delicious I promise <laughs> and they're gluten-free so I don't love all gluten-free recipes but this one is a keeper <laughs> so I use a tablespoon size melon baller or scooper just to make it super easy to scoop and evenly distribute all of my dough onto the cookie sheet. And I am using a Silpad map right now, which is always fun to use when you're making cookies. Kind of helps prevent them from becoming burnt on the bottom in case you accidentally leave them in there for a minute longer than necessary. They're less likely to come out burnt. And these always go super quick in my house. So here we have all of our peanut butter cookie dough in little perfect balls. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a fork to make a little crisscrossy shape <laughs> and press them down at the same time, which helps them bake in the perfect way. <laughs> when I'm making crisscrosses, I always like to think about hopscotch or tic-tac-toe for some weird reason. Because, <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, kind of like a five-year-old inside. <laughs> you can make designs if you're that kind of person that, you know, makes train tracks or whatever with your mashed potatoes. This could be fun, you know? You can make <laughs> designs on your peanut butter cookies. Flatten them out, make them pretty. So now I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Could be as quick as eight minutes, depending on your altitude or your oven. So um, I'm gonna put them in the oven and just keep my eyes on them because I don't like them to get too brown. I like to pull them out when they almost look like they're slightly getting golden brown, but they look like they're almost not cooked all the way because I like my cookies a little bit more chewy than crispy. Hey, so I started a second channel Digging Country, it's an ASMR channel, which are calming and soothing sounds. I've gotten a lot of requests from my subscribers and viewers to release more videos, post more videos of me and all my animals and 
all the fun things that we do on the farm. So there you are. I put a link in the description. So check it out, y'all. Digging country. And subscribe. All right, the cookies are done. So everyone in my family loves milk chocolate, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a extra step to make my peanut butter cookies super yummy. <laughs> They're very delicious by themselves, but... <laughs> I just like to add a little bit of chocolatiness. So what I'm doing is pouring some chocolate chips in a Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna seal it up and microwave it for about 30 to 45 seconds just to melt my chocolate chips. And then I'm gonna cut a little corner off, very tricky and sneaky, <laughs> and make little designs on top of the peanut butter cookies to give them that extra chocolate, chocolatey goodness. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my melted chocolate now, just for fun, to make them extra Yummy. I'm gonna let these sit for probably 20 minutes or so just so that the chocolate can harden a little bit. But if you're impatient, go ahead and eat one right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to. So. <laughs> So peanut buttery and so delicious. All right, y'all, well, thanks for joining us in making super easy peanut butter cookies. Remember to check out the new channel, Taking Country. See y'all next time.